Um, I'll take the next one. Okay. So we had an inquiry as to what advice should be given to a friend who thinks that eating healthy is too hard or too difficult. Oh, too difficult. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And it, it harkens back to thinking, okay, you know, we use the word empathy and considering caloric intake which is critical to being able to sustain oneself from a foodological standpoint. That's right. Got to intake them caloric uh, uh, food substances. Yeah. There is a dynamic that occurs in terms of, and I don't, I don't want to go too far into the weeds here with our listeners, but. Although, although um, weeds can be healthy. Some, some yeah, weeds that's healthy. true. Yeah. It, yeah. The way those kids are eating these yeah. days. Yeah. Well, uh, blood sugar levels play into the whole equation. And where you want to be careful is if you have someone that I will say, let's go under the scenario that they're of the mind, they're eating healthy. Okay. Well, what could happen in their perspective of eating healthy is they may or may not be getting all of the nutrients mm. that are necessary for that healthy diet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's go down the road of a diet of a person that thinks that they're eating healthy, but they're missing, let's say riboflavin yeah. or some form of protein or a version of the oses of fructose, yeah. sucrose, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're of a mind where they really want nothing to do with 